Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to find slope from two points. Before we begin finding our slope, let's review what slope is. Slope is a ratio. It is a ratio of rise over the run. We refer to rise between two points as the change in y and run as the change in x. So think of rise as the distance between the two y coordinates of two points, how much you travel from one point to the other vertically, and our run is our horizontal distance between two points, how far you travel horizontally from one x coordinate to the other on the x axis. M is the variable we use to refer to slope. Here's our slope formula. We are using two points. Point 1 is used with this subscript 1, and point 2 is named with this subscript 2. So this is the x and y coordinate of a point, and this is the second point, x2, y2. These points are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which point you use as your point 2 or which one you use as your point 1, as long as stacked right here, these x and y coordinates are from the same point, and these x and y coordinates are from the same point. And you subtract. So you take the value of one y coordinate, subtract the value of the other y coordinate, and it forms a ratio over the x coordinate from that same point, subtract the x coordinate from this point. And that's where you get your change in y ratio over your change in x. Now let's understand how to describe slope. So we have a line here that has got a positive slope because it is rising left to right. You read a graph just like you read a page in a book, left to right. So if it's increasing left to right or rising left to right, then it's going to have a positive slope. When we have a downward sloping line, we have a negative slope. Just as you read the book left to right, it's going down left to right, so the line is falling left to right, giving us a negative slope. Unique slopes are, we have a slope of all horizontal lines is zero. So anytime, think about lying down, anytime you're lying down in a bed or on a couch, you have a zero slope. You have no rise. You have a horizontal distance, maybe between your head and your feet, but you will have a zero slope. The numerator, in this case, when we go to use our formula, the numerator will always come out to be zero. So if you have a numerator that has a difference of zero when you're finding your ratio of your slope using the formula, you know you have a zero slope and it's a horizontal line. The slope of all vertical lines is undefined. And here, very uniquely, this is when you're standing tall. So a vertical line is a line that's straight up and down here, and the denominator, when you use the formula, will always be zero. So you know if you are using your slope formula and your ratio has a denominator of zero, then you have an undefined slope, and it's the slope of a vertical line. Now we have a zero slope right here. It looks like this. It's a horizontal line. So if you come up with a zero slope, we have a horizontal line. And describing a vertical line slope, it's undefined. The, ver the line will be vertical. So if you have a denominator of zero, you know, dividing by zero gives you a solution of undefined. That tells you you have a vertical line. All right, now it's time to use everything we've learned. We're going to find the slope of the line passing through the points 2, 7, and negative 3, negative 8. So we're going to go back to our slope formula, which is the change in y ratio over the change in x. So let's stack our ordered pairs. So we're going to call this our y and x and y coordinate and our negative 3, negative 8, x and y. So we have two different points here. So now when we look at this, we're going to put our y coordinates in the numerator. So here are our y. Our change in y is our numerator of our ratio, and our x-coordinates are our denominator. So let's just go ahead and physically switch these around. So now we have our ratio. We have 7, which we are going to replace 
and then we're going to subtract negative 8. So 7 subtract negative 8 is my numerator. And then I have 2 subtract negative 3. Notice that we have the subtract. You are subtracting the value. So this becomes add the opposite. So we're going to have 7 add 8 add the opposite. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. 2 add 3. The opposite of negative 3 is 3. So now 7 plus 8 is 15. 2 plus 3 is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the slope of the line passing through these two points is 3. It's positive 3, so we know that our line is going to be rising left to right, rising up 3 over 1 for every, between every two ordered pairs. All right, your turn. Please pause the video and find the slope of the line passing between these two points. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here we go, we have our slope formula, and we're going to stack our two points. And these are our y coordinates that go in our numerator, our x coordinates that are going to go in our denominator. So let's flip this around so that we can see this. We're going to do 5, subtract negative 3, negative 7, subtract negative 7. So now we need to add the opposite. So we're going to add 3 in our numerator, and we're going to add 7 in our denominator. 5 plus 3 is 8. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. We cannot divide 8 by 0. That is undefined. So we know that this is going to be a vertical line when it's graphed. Your turn. Please pause the video now. Find the slope of the line between these two points and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here's our slope formula. We're going to stack our ordered pairs, identify our y coordinates, identify our x coordinates, and I'm going to flip these around just so we can visually see our ratio. So we have negative 2, subtract negative 1. We have 2, subtract negative 1. So we're going to add the opposite, so negative 2 plus 1, add the opposite, 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, all over positive 3, so I have a negative sloping line. So this line graphed will be sloping down, left to right, or falling. Here's another one for you. Please pause the video now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here is our slope formula stack our points, identify our y coordinates, identify our x coordinates, and now let's flip this around so that we can see our y coordinates are going to be negative 6, subtract negative 6, negative 2, subtract negative 8. So add the opposite, so add 6, negative 6, add 6, and negative 2, add the opposite, which is positive 8. Negative 6 and 6 are opposites, making a 0. 0 divided by any value is 0. So we have a line with a slope of 0 telling us that this is a horizontal line. Your turn. Go ahead and find the slope between these two points. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. And here's our slope formula. Let's stack our ordered pairs. Identify our y coordinates identify our x coordinates, flip this around so it looks just like our ratio. So we're going to have negative 6, subtract 3, 0, subtract 4, negative 6, add the opposite, 0, add the opposite, and then negative 6 and negative 3 are negative 9, 0 and negative 4, negative 4, a negative divided by a negative results a positive, 9 over 4. So our 9 fourths is the slope of our line. It's positive. Our line will be rising left to right. Positive slope. And there you have it. That is how you find slope from two points. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Come back soon. Have a great day.